Well, good morning, everybody. It's the midweek Wednesday, January the 20th, and I want to welcome you to our morning check-in here at E-Free Church. Now, this is something we started way back in March when everything first shut down because of COVID. And in order to stay connected to our church family, we did these little morning check-ins. And we were going to quit doing them once COVID ended and things opened back up. But there has been such an overwhelming response to them. We kept them going and we're amazed within a seven day period how many people watch these little videos. And the reason they do is because you take the time to share it on your social media. And why is that a good thing? Because that means they can, in about a three-minute time span, hear a truth of the Word of God. And it's the truth of the Word of God that can change someone's life. So I again want to thank you and encourage you to share these videos on your Facebook page. Now, we've been going through characteristics of love in 1 Corinthians 13. We have already looked at 10 of them. Love is patient. Love is kind, it's not jealous, it doesn't brag, it's not arrogant, it's not rude, it doesn't seek its own, it's not provoked, it doesn't take into account a wrong suffered, but it, rejo it does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but it rejoices with the truth. Now today, let me give you two more. And they kind of go together, they kind of connect. Here's the first one. Verse 7 says, love bears all things. Another translation says, love protects. And that's really what the Greek word here means. In other words, if someone loves me, they're willing to protect me. In other words, they're not going to drag my faults, out in, my faults out in front of others for them to see. Listen, my wife knows more of my faults than anyone in the history of the world but she doesn't hang my faults out on the laundry line for others to see. Why? Because she loves me. She chooses to protect me. How often do we hear a rumor about another believer and what do we immediately do? We tell someone else about the rumor. Folks, that's not love. Love protects. And you know why? Because of the next one. Love doesn't just bear all things, it believes all things. In other words, it's not suspicious. It's not cynical. If someone loves me, listen, they're going to believe for the best in me. And if I love you, I'm going to believe for the best in you. Here's what that means. So when I hear a rumor about you, my first impulse is not going to be to share the rumor with someone else. My first impulse is going to be to say, I will not believe that rumor until I know for sure it's a fact. Because I'm always going to believe the best in you because that's biblical love. Folks, we've got to stop the rumor mill. We've got to stop the gossip train. And there's only one way to stop a gossip. Quit listening to them. Love doesn't gossip. It protects and it believes all things. Let's pray. So Father, help us to love each other today with biblical love. May we protect one another. May we believe for the best in one another. In Jesus name, amen. Well, I'm so glad you tuned in. If you haven't already, share it on your Facebook page. Now, tomorrow we're going to wrap up our look at 1 Corinthians 13 by looking at the final three. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you tomorrow right here on our morning check-in.